Hey boo and welcome home to Revolution Tarot. So today we are doing a pick a card reading for you and this pick a card is also going to be divided in two parts. Part 1 is available here on YouTube and part 2 will be available on Patreon. Okay. So the part 1 that is on YouTube, the topic for this reading is who is sending you evil eye and spell work towards you. Okay. This is a subscriber requested topic. So thank you so much for the person who suggested this topic for the collective on my channel and make sure that you subscribe so that I can take up your requests of whatever readings you want to see from my end. All right. And part two of this reading is available on my Patreon. And the part two of this reading is who is plotting on you and what are they plotting? Okay. The link of this reading on my Patreon will be given in the description box below so you can access it from there. Alright, so you have three options to choose from for part one of this reading here, which is who is sending you evil eye and spell work towards you. Okay, we'll dive into it. We'll see what's coming up. And the three options that you are seeing here are literally spells given to you by your spirit guides that you are meant to learn. Okay, and these spells are also available on another tier on my Patreon, which is the Alchemist tier, where I teach you spell work, I teach you alchemy, I teach you magic, okay, to protect yourself, to um, improve your life in terms of your finances, your love life, your career, your spirituality, all of those things. So these spells are available on my Patreon and they have been suggested to you, to each of this pile, based on the person that's doing the spell work against you, okay? So make sure that you're tapping into these spells. The spells will also be available beneath each of the pile. So you can check that out. And part two of this reading will also be given in the description box below my loves. Okay. So I'm very, very excited to dive into this reading. Let me know in the comments if you resonate with the messages. Do like, share, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in your pile. All right. So pile one. Let me just spray some protection spray for you and for me perfect ah oh, smells so i'll just do some for my hand as well so are you excited by one to tap into this let's see my love Okay, so first we are going to identify who this is. Let me get some oracle cards. Okay, so spirit tap me into pile one. Who is sending pile one evil eye and spell work? Who is sending pile one evil eye and spell work? By the way, the pile that you have chosen, pile one, I think you chose the dragon icon right and so the spell that you are being asked to learn is dragon magic and dragon magic is not available anywhere else on youtube apart from with me and it's like a proper mini course that you can do to understand the entirety of dragon magic i have learned it from someone else so i have uploaded the entire course on my patreon Okay, so if you're interested to check it out, um, your spirit guides are guiding you to learn about it. Okay, to get in touch with dragons um, for you, pile one. Okay, and with dragons, I feel like this is some heavy manipulation. This is some heavy evil eye and spell work that's happening on you. That is why you have an entire course that your spirit guides are recommending to you. Okay, interesting. So let's dive in. Let's see. Uh, spirit tap me into pile one. Who is sending evil eye and spell work to pile one? Okay. The first card we have for you is gratitude and thanks. Okay. This is someone that you have changed up on. Okay. Because at the bottom of the deck, we have transformation and change. Right. So this is someone that you have actually changed up on. Um, maybe you're not talking to this person anymore. Maybe you have stopped talking to this person or there's some argument or fight that happened. Um, or you are like avoiding them, like a plague I heard. Okay, interesting. Pile one. So let's see. 
spirit captain into pile one who is sending evil eye and spell work to pile one we have pink lotus fairy a time for spirit yeah you're a very very spiritual person pile one and i feel like your spirit guides speak to you or communicate to you uh, either through meditation or through uh, dream your dreams um, through your intuition right and i feel like whoever this person was in your life they didn't like they did not like your spiritual side they did not accept you for your spiritual side or every time like you got in this energy of having gratitude for life gratitude for people around you um gratitude for wherever you are at right now this person wanted to like destroy that destroy that attitude that you have of like being peaceful being zen being calm this person found ways to like disturb your peace every time you got to that vibration or got to that level within yourself um yeah we have fairy of the highlands it's time to be brave right so i think you had to be brave to cut this person off because this person because this person was holding on way too tight okay yeah i think the story is coming together i feel like this person um now with the with the wheel that she's holding here i feel like this person is literally wanting to swap destiny with you or swap your life with theirs that's what i'm picking up okay this person is very very jealous and envious of you so obviously they do evil eye you and just you existing is a trigger for them just you existing is a trigger for this person pile one okay um and i feel like you had that aha moment that this person has like an obsession with you or like they keep coming back because like i feel like you're very pure hearted you're very kind hearted you're very innocent you're very loving um and this person can't get enough of that i'm hearing okay let's get all the cards out and then i'm going to like channel for you pile pile one spirit tap me into pile one okay we got a lot of cards for you oh my god okay we have the witness card there is something that you have seen about this person that they don't they did not want you to see maybe this something could incriminate them or this something could sabotage their life or destroy their life there's something that you know about about this person and this person feels like you could expose them or you could talk about them or you could snitch about them so before you snitch about them they talk badly about you or they talk negatively about you to other people um like they try to destroy your reputation is what i'm hearing okay yeah but this person constantly keeps an eye on you constantly keeps an eye on what spiritual practices you are doing or are you like doing something against them this person is scared of you doing spell work against them because they are doing it against you so they are afraid of it backfiring i feel like some of it has already backfired because of your spirit guides yeah we have ancient here okay ancient egypt oh my god this is like ancestral enemy of yours all right uh, the past of prison yeah look at that the past of prison right then we have madness oh madness so this is a person from your past and one more card we got the call of the night so this person could like do spell work on on you at night file one okay primal yeah so i feel like you have seen this person do something or say something that that they do, did not want you to see that they did not want you to witness and now you are like awake to who this person truly is in the past maybe you trusted this person you allowed this person in your life or whatever it may have been but i feel like this person thinks that you have some evidence against them okay and they are afraid that you are going to speak out i feel like this person was planning to destroy your reputation 
when you stopped talking to this person, when you uh, were in your own zone, when you were maybe in your hermit mode or you were going within, you were doing your meditations, you were doing your spiritual, um, you were getting your spiritual upgrades or whatever, right? File one. So this person wanted to destroy your reputation and whenever you were not available in front of others, this person wanted others to feel that you are doing something that they are doing. Basically, they projected their own image onto you. So now you know exactly what they are talking about because they are exactly projecting who they are to them, to the others. So maybe you could have noticed that whenever you go to gatherings or whenever maybe if this is a family member, whenever you go to gatherings, like people are talking weirdly to you or they are avoiding you or they are not wanting to mingle with you. And in the past, opposite was the case. This is because of this person. This could happen in your friend group. If this is a friend, we will tap into who this is exactly. But this is an energy I'm getting specifically that you have noticed that some people are like just going away from you. And that could have made you sad or that could have made you feel like, why is this happening to you? It's because of this person. Okay. And this person is doing spell work on you since Egypt. So there is a uh, past life connection from Egypt with this person. Okay, and this person has been obsessed with your destiny since Egypt because you have powerful spirits who guide you in your life. You have powerful ancestors. I'm hearing who are geniuses. Literally, that's why you chose the dragon here. They are geniuses. Like you could come from the dragon realm, literally, pile one. And so am I. My entire logo of my business is a dragon, a purple dragon at that. Right? So that's crown chakra. So your ancestors come from the dragon line and you have connection to Egypt and Egyptian deities and your ancestors have connection to all of this. Right? So this person is holding a grudge against you because you let them go or you cut them off. And how dare you be, how dare you be that brave to like stand up in front of them and to like say no to them or you cutting them off. So this person did a spell on you to literally make you go crazy, mentally insane. And they did a spell on you to be lonely. So the more lonely you are, the more you will feel like people are not, you can't relate to people or you feel like you lose friends easily or you, if you are in a relationship or you are dating, you're not finding the right people or you're not finding the right person. Um, you could feel very alone. You could feel like, you could feel like people are avoiding you on purpose or people do not want to hang with you or people just cut the phone on you or something like that. And you're wondering why this is happening. It's because this person is doing spell work to keep you alone because they think they are entitled to your destiny. They think they are entitled to what you own, who you are. They want to replace you. Like they want to be you. They hate you so much yet they want to be you. This person could be a dancer or a good dancer or this person could be um, for some of you I'm hearing this person could be like Arabic or Muslim I'm hearing not for all of you. I'm just getting some uh, downloads here. Yeah, we have a call for help here. Reach out, need for backup, admit your needs. This person wants you to reach out to them and admit that you need them. That is why they are doing all of this. Like they want you to be alone so that they can be the problem solver in your life. They can be the closest one to you in your life. You are only vulnerable and open to this person and not to anybody else. Okay. So this is like a magical interference that's happening here. Now let's tap into who this person could be. Okay. I'm very interested. Um, I'm getting some clues here. For some of you, this person could love wearing red or they could have red hair. Okay. Um, they could have a uh, curly hair short curly hair they could have a uh, pink pink hair light pink hair um dark black hair or golden and black ombre hair um or platinum hair as well okay um that's for the hair i'm getting this person could wear lenses or could wear lens um, or they could be a photographer for some of you. They, they click pictures or they love clicking pictures. They love wearing glasses. They could smoke um, is what I'm picking up. They, yeah, again, this person is also wearing red here. Okay. So, and they, they smoke or they drink. Um, 
and they are a hustler and you know that th this person is a hustler like and they think that nobody knows where they are coming from but like a lot of people recognize this person and know like what they are trying to do okay interesting so a lot of people are waking up to this person's uh, obsessive nature or like destructive nature yeah Wow, this person um, indulges in a lot of smoking, okay, because right now I am getting a craving to smoke and I have quit smoking. Sometimes I do pick it back up. I'm also struggling to quit it, but now I'm like looking at that card, I'm feeling some craving a little bit, right? So that is interesting. Um, this person craves smoking. They are definitely a habitual smoker. Chain smoker could be as well. Um, we have the cards are stacked against them and they are no match for you. Exactly. File one. So this person could play cards or could play poker. Um, they could wear a lot of black as well and they wear it for protection. Okay. So if they think because they feel like you are doing spell work against them or you're doing something, but it's their own karma that's coming back to bite them. Right. Um, so they wear black whenever they meet you or whenever they are around you. That's because they are trying to protect themselves, okay, from any kind of work that you could be doing against them. Um, with the cards, I'm also getting like friend. This could be like a close friend of yours, like a best friend. Damn. Either this is a best friend. We have everyone loves this person, but you can see through their BS. File one, I'm telling you, this person is very charming. They know how to like impress other people with maybe their laugh, their jokes, their laughter. They know how to convince other people that they are innocent, that they are the sweetest, okay, and that they are the life of the party, like, without them, people cannot have fun, because they add the fun element to everything, like, this is that kind of a person, okay, and they enable other people's addictions is also what I'm picking up from this person, um, and you can see through this BS, like, you can see how destructive they really are, um, and that is what this person is scared about. Okay, they are scared about this um, because you are a witness to something that they have done. They have tried to hustle you or they have tried to um, attack the wrong person. Okay, this person could have a, a intimate addiction, like getting intimate with other people. They have an addiction of that. Okay, yeah. Issues are making you feel stuck and unable to move forward. So this person wants you to feel unable to move forward file one okay and let me get more details on this person yeah this person is all about like the superficial life right and uh, they love showing off something that they have maybe done or achieved like they love to do that um this person could be like a makeup artist for some of you this person could be into like body art or body painting. This could be a tattoo artist as well. Hmm. I'm getting a very distorted feminine energy from this person. So even if this is a masculine, there's a distorted feminine energy about this person. Okay. And they are very insecure about their own masculine energy. So if you are a female and this is a masculine that's doing this to you, they are literally jealous of you. Hmm. Jealous of your beauty, I heard. Jealous of your talents, of your skills, of your abilities, of your dance. Like if you dance really well, they are jealous of that. Your hair, if you have long, thick, luscious hair, or if you have these colors of hair that I spoke of, they are very jealous of that. Yeah. They also attack your intuition. With the cards here, they could do tarot cards or they could watch tarot readings on you or they could spy, remotely view and spy on your life. And they want you to keep quiet. So if you are a reader, pile one, they want you to keep quiet. Like don't, don't share secrets about them through the cards if you are a reader, right? And they hate that you are spiritual. They hate that you're a reader. And that's why they attack you spiritually so that you don't open up their secrets or what they have done. Um, because you have been a witness to their mask falling and others have not witnessed that about this person. File one. Okay. So this person wants you to be quiet. 
do not talk be quiet and that is why they want to like so that you quietly give them your destiny or quietly just hand it over to them this person could also pop a lot of pills or um, this person could be on medicines or could be um, could be losing a lot of weight for some of you okay wow um let's get more on this person i'm get, gonna get some tarot cards here spirit tap me into file one pertaining to this person who's sending evil eye and spell work to pile one we have the nine of wands reverse pile one spirit who is sending evil eye and spell work to pile one okay we have the nine of cups Pile one, who is sending spell work to pile one? We have Queen of Swords reverse, a very, very bitter person, pile one. Okay. This is a very jaded, bitter person. And you have seen through this mask. But in front of others, this person acts like they have it all together, that they are winning in life, even though they have done you dirty. Okay. Um, we have the three of cups reversed. So this person has toxic friends around them as well. This could be a friend literally with the three of cups reverse. This could be like a friend who has stabbed you in the back or who talks ish behind your back. And you have figured this out, like how much they gossip about you because people have started rejecting you or not talking to you. And then you have had to learn to be happy by yourself. Like you have had to, and in a way they have, this person has done you a favor because you have learned to love yourself in this process. You have gotten a better relationship with yourself in this process. Um, and maybe in the past you were like a people pleaser or you, you were very giving to this person, you know, um, whenever this person called you, you were always available for this person. But now it's like you're holding your boundaries, you're standing back, you're being brave um, because this person could be very cruel. I'm hearing very mean. Um, mean, like the way they speak could be very, very mean, rude, um, and they have put people against you or they gang stalk you. This could be a narcissist for sure. Okay. Pile one spirit who is sending evil eye. So this person is sending evil eye to your wish fulfillment. So this person could be spying on your wish fulfillment, on what makes you happy, what is, what are your goals. This person is very interested to know that so they can sabotage each and every goal that you have. And they will do it through spell work. I'm hearing, right? Um, and then by making you lonely so that you don't receive opportunities, that's when this person wants to come in and give you opportunities or want you to depend on them. We have the strength card here. This could be a Leo or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Yeah, we have the world in reverse. This person is not learning their uh, lesson from Saturn and Saturn is about to spank this person's ass. Like I'm telling you, by what? This is crazy, okay? This person is not learning their lesson. This person is power hungry. And they could have done you really dirty by either attacking whatever it is that you wished for or attacking your peace, your harmony, your balance. Like this person hates peace, but you are peaceful. So they can't live without you. They can't live with you, right? Because there's no rest for the wicked, I heard. So, yeah. This person doesn't have any goals and ambitions in their own life. And if they are pretending to have it all in their life, that's to show you that they have it all so that you feel sad because nobody appreciates you, but they are being appreciated, they are being loved, or they are being cherished. And they don't understand the wisdom that you are gaining by your solitude. Like, that is something they, can, they will die before they can do that. But you can do that easily, right? So that is something that really threatens them. Like, how do you keep coming back, pile one? This is why you chose the dragon, pile one. You keep coming back. You are a dragon, pile one. Okay? And this person doesn't know that. This person mistreated a dragon. A fire-breathing dragon, right? Wow. Yeah, we have the six of coins reverse. So this person has either transactional relationships with people or this person has always had an ulterior motive behind every little thing that they have done for you or given to you. Always they have had an ulterior motive. Okay. So I'm picking up very strongly a friend or this could be some uh, uh, a divorced ex or this could be a divorced spouse. This could be 
a separated ex from your past who started slandering your name when you didn't want anything to do with them after you saw their mask fall off in front of you and you saw their cruel mean side this is that person yeah let's get a bit more who is sending you spell work and evil eye for pile one spirit we have alliance yeah this is someone that you were allied with like this is a friend like a best friend i was picking up best friend right like you felt like this person would die for you like they would do anything for you that's how much you cared about this person that's how much you loved this person pile one okay i feel like you were very trustworthy to this person you were very honest and you felt like there was a strong compatibility with this person okay very strong friend vibes i'm getting in this pile very strong friend vibes or uh, ex vibes ex spouse ex girlfriend ex boyfriend um uh, we have a robbery here this person robbed you of your trust literally or they could have robbed you of something they could have stolen something from you stolen your ability to trust other people stolen your ability to move forward because they stole either money or assets or possession um or your job or your client i don't know like this person definitely steals from people this person could have stolen your energy your love your kindness that you gave them they stole it from you and they gave it to someone else this person could have cheated on you if this is an ex right who is sending spell work and evil eye we have memory in reverse this person wants you to forget what they have done they could be doing memory spells on you to make you forget make you forget what you witnessed about them maybe you have witnessed them like stealing something you know about them stealing something from someone else or lying about something because you have seen them you have seen the truth or you have witnessed the truth about this person and they want to erase that memory that memory where they were stealing the memory where you caught them because you were so close to them you you saw through it and they want to erase that memory so that you are you are good to them they want to erase all the memory that you had about this person when they were sabotaging you or being mean to you or hurting you or being cruel towards you they want to erase all of that so they could be doing spell work to do that so that you reconcile with this person yeah right in reverse magical ritual in reverse so that's dark magic literally okay that's dark magic here so let's pick some last cards here to get all the details file one spirit tap me into file one what kind of spell work is this you need to check out the dragon magic course the mini course that you have selected for this pile okay that spell that magic course is going to transform your life pile one i guarantee you that pile one okay so if you're resonating with this then this is your message we have a dog here as well so maybe this person has a dog or they love dogs or they pretend to love dogs okay you could have bought a dog with this person or you could have shared a dog with this person you could have been pet parents together you could have shared a lot of information with this person you trusted this person with something that they stole from you you trusted this person with your security stability foundation something foundational they stole from you and you are a witness to it or a witness to their crime something incriminating that could destroy their life you have seen it okay you are a witness to it so give me what kind of spell work has this person done we have dream attacks in reverse so dream attacks are in reverse it says you are under the attack of spiritual entities that are trying to defeat you in the astral realm clarify spirit what kind of attacks are these for pile 1 what kind of spell work is happening on pile 1 we have prosperity stop spell 
okay they want you to stop manifesting wealth and prosperity they want you to need them for wealth and prosperity so they can purchase your silence um your silence right um black salt powder and then we have fear so it says here black salt powder use black salt to break hexes and expel repel unwanted energies so some of you if you cannot afford my patreon or you cannot get into my patreon spirit is asking you to use black salt powder to repel any negative entities or energies okay you can tap into my patreon for free as well where i teach you free spells over there so if you are you are interested to learn about these things um tap into my patreon okay you'll get some ideas as to how to do spells um so yeah black salt powder is important for you uh, to uh, protect your prosperity i'm hearing to protect your wealth from this person okay this person doesn't want you to get clients or this person doesn't want you to um succeed financially so that you are reliant upon them and they can buy your silence period pile uh, one okay um and i feel like you're not even doing anything to this person but this person is just obsessed with you and they want to find reasons to like keep connecting with you right so you are not i don't think you are shouting from the rooftops that this person is a cr criminal i think you are just busy focusing on your life and the blessings that you currently have you're being very peaceful and zen in the moment and you are enjoying your life this person has a problem with that this person has a problem with that as well like they don't like peace okay so they'll attack you whenever you are at peace even though you're not even attacking them they will point fingers at you because they are doing it they are projecting their own ish onto you okay so yeah it says your fear let the fears only be an experience for your favorite horror movies after you're done watching it fear does not exist it's only a make believe and i slightly disagree with th that entire card even though i have only written it because there is a healthy fear that is required in every person a little bit you know um and that fear protects us from a lot of very harmful dangerous experiences right pal one so a little bit fear is good but letting that fear take over your entire life where you start cursing your own life because now you are so scared of of this person evil eyeing your wealth and this evil this person like attacking your memory and your dreams wanting you to be alone like feeling so scared that is not what i'm doing here as a reader i'm bringing this energy to your awareness so that you know exactly what is happening so that you can keep continuing on your path to progress because you are already on your way right it's just that if there are something additional some things additional that you can do for yourself that is what i would recommend for you because it's recommended by your spirit guides right and for you specifically it's the dragon magic right and you can check out the part 2 of the reading which is who is plotting on you and what are they pl plotting to know exactly like what is the next plot that is coming from this person towards you what are they planning right so that will be important for you that is available in the part 2 of on my patreon so check out both the tiers spellwork tier is different superhuman tier alchemist tier as well as prophetic tier three tiers i have check them all out and see whatever you can afford and join us there okay um to know more in in case you're interested by the way okay yeah so let's get an advice for you then apart from all of this what's the advice spirit for pile one also you could have been seeing dreams about this person or you could have been seeing dream uh, dreams of dogs cats um you could be a cat owner okay yeah so what is the advice for it for pile 1 any advice that you would like to give apart from all of this for pile 1 any advice for pile 1 spirit any advice for pile 1 okay advice we have healing waters okay so something about you uh, yeah with the healing waters your spirit is saying spiritual bath okay there's a lot of recipes on my patreon as well for spiritual baths in case you are interested do check it out pile 1 okay 
a lot of cleansing and purifying baths are available on my Patreon. Okay, because you are going through a massive change and this person wants to stop that. They want to stop your growth and progress. So it's it would be best if you check out what modalities you have to purify yourself, cleanse yourself of this energy. Okay, and black salt is also another thing that is recommended to you. Okay, all right, pile one. So this is what I have for you. Let me know in the comments if this resonated with you, my love. Okay. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions for tarot readings, let me know in the comments. Okay, I'll be happy to do it for you guys. All right. So thank you so much, Pile 1, my boo. And peace. Hi, Pile 2. So let's tap into your reading. I'm going to use my protection spray for you and for me. <sighs> Feels so good when I use this. Like, it's insane. All right, so spirit tap me in to pile two. And who is sending evil eye and spell work to pile two? Who is sending evil eye and spell work to pile two? By the way, the spell that you chose pile two is don't cross my path spell, okay? Um, which is available on my Patreon, which the link of this spell will be given in beneath your pile, okay? Beneath the timestamp of your pile. But um, don't cross my path is a spell that talks about like if you want a negative energy or entity or a person with a lot of negative energy to leave your life and to never come into your life, like to permanently be gone from your life so that you can live your life peacefully. That is the spell that is recommended to you by your spirit guides based on this person. So whoever this is, this person could be extremely toxic, negative. Um, whenever they are around you, like they bring a lot of like heavy energy I'm picking up. Uh, a lot of like you feel a lot of stress or tension um, you could be like an empath or you could be very sensitive to energy or entities um, is what is coming through okay yeah so you don't want this person lingering in your life okay um, yeah so let's let's clarify a little bit spirit tapping into pile two who is sending oh okay we have we have learned from life as the first card for you so this person wants to teach you a lesson. It's like, it's like their hand is out here and they are calling you out. Like they are calling you out of your comfort zone. So this person seems very friendly. Like you, you look kind of happy to like go and meet them. Okay. Interesting. So although you feel... Uh, um, how is that possible that even though you feel all this negative energy, you are still like, you still feel a pull towards this person? So this person could be doing some kind of magic to like pull you in, to pull you towards them. Like, come, I'm hearing like a siren call, like, come to me, come to me. So this could be like a new person or this could be like someone that you feel can never do you wrong. Interesting. Okay, let's get uh, let's get into it deeper. Um, at the bottom of this deck, by the way, we have meditation for peace and serenity. Okay. Interesting. Hold on. So either you are a religious person, or this person could be religious. Uh, they could be like a guru, or wow, this person could be like a religious guru, or like they pretend to be like a spiritual guru. Um, but they are like. Uh, on the down low, like they are a bit perverted, I'm hearing, pile two. Yeah, like we have a dig deep card here. Like, what is this person? Prosperity and abundance. So they are after your money. This person is after your money. But you feel like this person guides you really well. This person gives you maybe some mantras to do or maybe some chanting. Or this person uh, shows you ways to like be religious or be spiritual in some way. Okay, let's dive deeper into this. This could be a water sign with the water here. But this person is definitely after your money, pile two. And you feel like this person could never do you wrong. Okay, maybe they have shown you some things that have given you a little bit of results or, and you have been convinced like, wow, this is my, like, this is the right person for me. This could be like a teacher. This could be like someone in leadership position or that's how they are to you anyways. Okay. Let's get a bit more on this person. I'll do. Now, this could be an elder in your family as well, someone who pretends to be very religious or spiritual, but they are internally perverted. I'll do. Okay. 
for some of you if you have if you are spiritual or religious this person pretends to be like you or pretends to like religion or spirituality as much as you but they are lying it's a facade it's not the truth okay clarify the spirit who is sending um, dark magic and evil eye somebody could have also hired such a person to do spell work on you and this person who has hired this this perverted spiritualist whoever this is that person is very close to you so you don't doubt this person but you don't even know that they have hired this person to make you like tempted to like come to them or for some of you you could know of this guru and you respect this guru or this this teacher or this person in leadership position spiritually or religiously and you could know them through this person but they both are like doing spell work against you because they both are after your money yeah that's coming through very strong who is sending evil eye and spell work to pile two okay we have pray yeah you are there pray literally pray okay they are praying on your downfall they are praying on your money yeah because you are very thoughtful you're very polite you have a lot of good manners towards this person um you every time they come in your life you welcome them you're very open and honest and like vulnerable or you're very kind to them pile too you're very good to them okay and this person is a bitter hearted person i'm hearing so we have three cards for you uh, the death will come so this person could talk a lot about like uh, life and death or maybe they have had a near death experience they could like i'm i'm hearing that's all fake uh, we have call for help yeah interesting call for help i don't like this person's vibes pile too i'm going to be very honest with you because you remember we saw the dig deep card here dig deep right like this person can end someone's life to have their money this person is that cruel now i don't know if they have done this in the past but this person has definitely sacrificed animals to do rituals death rituals i don't like this energy but i'm going to be very frank with you this is why you do you need that spell that you have chosen okay um we have immortal consuming family this could be a family member as well for some of you and the other card you got is religion oh my god in river it came in reverse literally religion in reverse pile okay and we have immortal here so this person has nefarious practices in the name of religion okay they do not follow what they preach or they do not practice what they preach and you are very empathetic you are very sympathetic you are very kind to this person this person takes it as you are their prey like you are their favorite prey or something like that okay like you are so innocent like they can easily take advantage of you or easily manipulate you you are very gullible um yeah this is in reverse we have two two little witches i'm telling you pile i mean look at that that's in reverse two little witches these are two people specifically doing spell work on you one is in, one is telling the other one what they want the other one knows how to do it and get it done okay two little which is magical space clearing time let's get three more from this deck spirit tap me into pile who is this person god damn it aloha healing clarify spirit uh, clarify who is this we have storm angel and give me one more spirit for pile who who okay we have the mildew fairy clean up time yeah something about cleaning is coming through call for help cleaning this could be someone you met at a hotel airbnb okay i'm going to give you all the details that i'm channeling here who this person could be at the bottom of the deck by the way strangely lonely holding on way too tight so wow uh, okay now for some of you these are twins okay twin sisters twin brothers um for others of you you have noticed that this person is always like coming back to you like they never leave you or they never 
like when you take space from this person or when you don't tell them what's going on in your life or when you are like disconnected maybe you have called on them for help every time every time there's something intense going on in your life you call this person for help there could have been some storm and somebody could have passed away and this person was there with you this person has earned their trust in your life by doing something and i feel like it makes you feel that this person can never do you wrong and there is a strong there is a strong difference between your personality and this person's personality there's a strong difference but they pretend to be just like you or pretend to have the same interest in the same concept same book same kind of studies or they pretend to have the same interests as you because they are preying on your money they also want you to change your beliefs this person has cloaked their energy it's hard for me to get in i'm sorry okay so let me get more cards on this spirit tell me who is this person this person could have dark black hair blonde hair or platinum hair this person could wear hats a lot this person could be a cat owner this person could read about magic spells let's see we have buried secret someone doesn't want anyone to dig up yeah dude i'm telling you pile oh my goodness dug up see look at this card we keep getting this card and then there is buried buried secrets dig deep i think you have opened up to this person about your secrets something that you don't share with anybody you have opened up to this person and you have shared with this person about like your secrets or something like that okay the, you could have okay some of you you could have given this person your home keys or your car keys or your locker keys my god i'm getting goosebumps as i'm reading this or this person could have given it to you just so you can develop trust for them and you know what like whatever they gave you keys to they didn't have anything in there okay they are very calculative this person who is this person spirit so this is a person that has told you a lie as a secret to get close to you this person has lied to you about some sort of a secret so that you get to open up to them so that you open up and tell them about your secrets okay clarify this spirit who is this person who is sending evil eye and spell work to pile 2 this person could be like a, a someone that you study with or you have met them at a library or like i said at a um, at a hotel this person did you a favor sometime where there was something dangerous and this person cleaned cleaned up the mess or helped you clean up some kind of a mess in your life that was dangerous or that was but they were preying on you at the same time like they thought that you are the perfect prey because you asked for help and now you owe them so they wanted you to owe them anyway right so there there is nothing about no strings attached in this energy that i'm picking up yeah we have heart broken over the loss of you and hoping to come back better now this is not i'm not picking up an ex energy from this person this is someone who helped you through a heartbreak like you opened up to this person about your heartbreak or you opened up to this person about your secrets and like you told this person that your ex was heartbroken and that they want to keep coming back and this person could have stopped you from going back to your ex and you felt like this person is protecting you they could have seemed like they are protecting you but no they are isolating you so that they can target your money okay we have uninterested and repulsed and we have someone is taking shortcuts and producing mediocre work so this could be a coworker literally that you could have gone on a business trip with for some of you like this person is completely uninterested in the topics you talk about except your personal stories or your personal details that they can use against you in the future including your relationship or 
your issues with your family members at the bottom of the deck they are returning and they are not any different okay this person could drink a lot of coffee like black coffee or they could be on a diet or they they are very skinny or they could they could have a dark skin tone um chocolate skin tone dark skin tone they could uh, have they could also be fair um this person could like playing like crossword puzzles and something about this person like i said they don't like what you talk about except your vulnerabilities that's when they are very focused in but they don't act uninterested or repulsed by whatever else you're talking about like they act like they are just into the same things okay and they are like they are always around you they are always like stalking you this person is obsessed with you they always stalk you so they check your stories they always check your profile pictures whenever you change them like they are obsessed with you they are stalking you like they don't mind ending you to take over your life and to take over your money and your position okay because they know certain secrets that can expose you or that can incriminate you or that can that can if this is not about incriminating you they know certain things about you that can what can it do spirit i'm i don't get it um indulgement here persuasion bribe temptation maybe you bribed someone and they know about this like you could have bribed someone or you could have uh, paid someone now for some of you you could have done something illegal like maybe it's something small it doesn't have to be something big like incriminating um but this person knew about this so they are a witness to something hmm now this person wants the money so they can like they can push it uh, on to other people that like they are the boss or you know um and they are like a predator file too okay whoever this is they are like a predator we have real estate okay so some of you this person is uh, in the real estate business or this person is someone you purchased a home from or this person could be the landlord of your place um this person could be getting into real estate or studying real estate with you or otherwise and interesting look at this these two look like the same people two people two people right there is some kind of a transaction that has happened between this person and someone else to make you buy a property or to make you invest in a property or to make you pay for something and what will happen to that once file to pays for this what will happen we have gain and reverse yeah i freaking i knew it i should have called it this person is definitely wanting to take away all your money so they are going to make you invest in something or they have already asked you to invest in a property or in a case regarding a property um or to bribe someone regarding a property okay this person has done that this person could be a family member of yours a step family member family member or like i said a coworker someone that you work with or someone that you have financial transactions with or like a leadership like a guru or someone who is respected in their field or if they are not respected per se it's like they they appear to be respected for what they do but like they are a fraud or they are a phony okay we have fury in reverse so this person could have anger issues and you have seen that sometimes but you have forgiven that or you are in two minds about like whether to trust this person or not that's what i'm hearing for some of you i'm picking up two groups of you one group you really trust this person with your blind eyes like you can do anything for this person um and the others of you you 50 you're like 50 50 like i don't know whether i can trust them or should i trust them or not but this person wants to like involve you in some kind of a real estate deal or some kind of a deal where you lose and they gain everything but they will pretend like 
like they don't know what happened like they are innocent in this that somebody else plotted against them evidence in reverse and they will take away the evidence of that as well wow interesting file two um so with this energy here yeah this person could love playing like i said playing video games playing chess um uh, making a lot of notes like to-do lists i'm hearing okay so give me more on this person so you will gain a lot from the spell that is recommended for you pile two which is the the don't cross my path spell you need it for this person okay i promise you like you need it for this person no wonder your spirit guides were like giving you that spell you know uh, makes sense so uh because some of you really trust this person and when you do a spell like this it's literally going to take away people that have that negative energy anyway, right? So you're going to see with proof that that person was a negative person and you will believe it, okay? We have the sun in reverse. They can't see you happy, pile do, okay? This person, this person can't see you happy. Now, some of you, they could have tried to destroy your childhood if this is a family member. They could have tried to destroy your childhood, right? Then we got the page of pentacles reversed. And now they're coming back to like offer you something, but that's like breadcrumbs, okay? They're trying to pretend that they have an offer or that they have something that you can benefit from, but all you have to do is pay them or give them money to have this, maybe rights to a property or something like that. Uh, oh my God, we have emperor in reverse, completely distorted here. There's some secret that this person knows about you and they are taking advantage of that secret to to make you believe that they are loyal to you, like they are your right hand or that they will take care of things related to you or dealing with you. But internally, they are so jealous and envious of you that you are their prey and they are your predator. That's how they think. Okay. This person could be very, um, they lack masculine energy, but they pretend like they are macho or they have it all. This is a very strong masculine energy here I'm picking up in this file. But it could be a uh, female with masculine energy as well. Um, we have nine of cups. Yeah, this person only cares about what will benefit them or what they can gain from people in general. But they also know how to like be very charming when it comes to make you believe that they will always be on your side. They are your ride or die or you couldn't have gone through certain situations in life without this person's help or without this person's guidance or without this person's knowledge they appear to be like that spiritual leader right like that 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 guru in your life someone who um knows a lot about like life and they can protect you and they can help you okay um yeah some of you this person could be into restaurants or restaurant owning bars i'm hearing clubs um yeah so this person is definitely, now we'll, we'll dive into exactly what they're doing, okay? King of Cups reverse, yeah. So this person is emotionally manipulative. This card also wanted to come out. Oh my God, King of Swords reverse. So this could be two masculines doing this against you. Two masculines, okay? But you feel like they are your friend or like they are your ride or die or like these two are always together, I'm hearing. But they are always wanting to like obsess about you or stalk you or make you spend money or make you like spend all your money because they're jealous of you okay let's let's clarify this a bit more some of you this person could have a position of authority or they could want to take away your position of authority if you want to achieve one we have mirror magic someone envies you exactly i've been saying this someone envies you and is trying to steal your essence to become a mirror image of you they are manifesting against you so this person hates you so much or they, they like want to be you so much that that they are basically trying to be you. So like I said, like they, they pretend to like the same subjects that you do. Um, they could also like take what you speak and share it with others as if they have said it. Like they pretend to be the guru or spiritual guru even though you are or maybe you are into spirituality, occult, or you love watching tarot, or you could be into astrology, divination. You could be very aware of these things, right? But this person pretends to be that, okay? Because they envy you, they envy your, you, your spiritual power. knowledge. Others of you, if you are religious, your religious thing, like they, that pisses them off that you are religious, or 
this could also be regarding someone around you pile too so if we are not channeling you this could be someone around you who is being attacked like this so keep that in mind okay if you feel like somebody is spiritually being attacked you can watch this reading for them as well right so we have sunshine magic okay let's get two more okay we got it block removing block removing and we have crown chakra blocked Okay, so this person, what kind of magic they are doing? They are stealing your essence. They are doing mirror magic. So every time they wake up in the morning, like they go towards their mirror and they pretend to be you, talk like you or... So like I was saying, pile two, that this person is going, like every morning they wake up in the mirror, like they, they look in the mirror and they try to like copy your style or think what you would like them to wear or what you would wear and they would wear that okay um talk like you act like you walk like you and have the same things that you love and they they do that because they want everything that you own like they want it to be theirs okay like they feel entitled to your life you are their prey like you are they are your predator and they are you are the prey and you should be scared of them but they do it in a way where they sugarcoat their predatory behavior into like do you want to go eat ice cream do you want to get high do you want to do this like they do it in a very uh, innocent fun loving way to the point where you feel like of course let's do it you know but no they they are actually plotting against you so you will very very much benefit from the part two of this reading which is like what are they plotting against you okay because this is going to come next as to exactly what plot they have to like sabotage your life completely okay um so that is on my patreon the link of that is in the description box along with the spell that i've given you for this particular reading which is uh, do not cross my path okay the link will for that is also be beneath the timestamp of this pile so sunshine magic is saying here the light will be illuminated on the situation what is done will come to light so this person whatever they are doing once you start taking precautions against this person everything is going to be revealed but if you keep trusting this person if you keep giving money to this person if you keep like you know opening up to this person about your secrets or letting them hold on to a secret that i don't know that can like Maybe you feel like it's going, it, it could destroy you or your reputation because you have a name or you have a public image. Um, you could feel like that that could destroy your image. But in a way, it's only going to help you, okay? Because whatever is done in the dark has to come to light. So you have to come into acceptance with whatever has happened with this person in the past. If you are ashamed about it, if you feel scared about this person attacking you, or if you feel that you are you owe this person because you did something wrong to them they are using that to your advantage okay so you have to get over your guilt in case there is something you did to this person and now they feel like you are their prey because you were a predator to them at one point if that is the case if that is the case you need to basically accept whatever has happened in the past and be brave and courageous in case something comes out about this that you will still have a better outcome with the sunshine here like the sun brings a lot of blessings okay so you will be blessed if you have the courage to not be under this person's thumb because they know something about you okay so in order to deal with this person if you want to like get a reading with me privately get it okay this will help you a lot trust me i can help you with this because this will definitely get into a private reading right so yeah we have block removing here whatever was holding you back has been or is being removed okay so spirit is saying that whatever was blocking your life with this person doing all the mirror work and being you and stealing your essence and envying you, jealousy, all that evil eye energy was being cast upon you. Now, 
with this block removing there is crown chakra blocked here okay so you need to do some cleansing here clearing which is why you need to get away from this person you need the, them to not cross your path so that spell is very very important for you to remove this block so that this blessings of the sun can actually come and help you and heal you from the situation okay or to make you aware to illuminate this person's true nature right this will help you with that because right now your crown chakra could be blocked this person could have blocked your ability to um, have fluid thoughts um, or you could have a lot of analysis paralysis about people. You can't trust anyone. You have a constant fear of alienation. Uh, for some of you, you could feel very left out in groups or this person could have like made you feel like they are the only ones you can trust and you shouldn't ask other people because the world is out to get you but they are the first predator and the last predator in your life, right? You could be getting bad dreams um, or your intuition is blocked. And you are making wrong decisions when it comes to finances. This person has cursed you in, a, in such a way where you make wrong decisions when it comes to your finances. You get bad dreams. You constantly feel like being alone and isolated and not meeting other people because you feel like other people are jealous. But this person is the closest to you and they are the most jealous. And they are talking about other people being jealous of you. But actually they are the most jealous of you. <laughs> like literally. And for that you are the block from your eyes have to be removed and for that you have to distance yourself from this person and for that distancing that spell is required it's very essential for you pile two okay very clearly this person could be a cancer pisces scorpio very strong pisces here um leo as well aries uh this person could be a taurus virgo capricorn as well or you could be these signs okay yeah so this is what I have for you, Pile 2. Let me know if this resonated. My God, this is so like interesting and juicy to say the least. Okay, so let me know in the comments if this resonated with you. And um, if you have any other suggestions for pick a card readings, you let me know in the comments and I'll be able to guide you for the same. All right. So thank you so much, Pile 2, for tuning in, my love. All right. So Pile 3, my love. File 3, let's tap into your eating. I'm going to spray some protection spray for you and for me. Perfect. So let's see. Who is sending you evil eye and spell work? Okay. Who is sending you evil eye and spell work? Who is sending you evil eye and spell work for pile 3 spirit? Tap me into pile 3. Who is sending them evil eye and spell work? Affirmation for healing the heart. This is definitely a family member. Pile. Did I say pile 1? Pile 3. Oh my goodness. Um, pile 3. This is definitely a family member. And I think you chose from the images on three piles, you chose the ancestor image. Okay. So the spell that is recommended to you is literally getting in touch with your ancestors. Okay. So the ancestor ritual that I have is an ancestor money protection ritual that you can do. Um, and it's a very, very powerful ritual. Trust me, Pile 2. Like, I have done it myself. Um, so, if you're interested to learn about that, the link of that spell will be given beneath the timestamp here. But this is definitely a family member who is sending you the evil eye, okay? Um, and they are also doing it towards your connection with your family. I'm hearing. Interesting. What's at the bottom of the deck here? strength and resilience yeah they are doing it because you are a very strong individual and no matter what they do to you like you keep getting back up or you keep winning in life or you keep upgrading in life you keep like you keep coming out of situations that they put you in in order to like try to destroy you okay let's get a bit more information on this so who is sending you evil eye and spell work they're creating family problems or they want your family to have problems with you or you to have uh, problems with their family or 
they want you to have problems with your in-laws family or with your person your specific person your soulmates family or they, they could be blocking your love life as well like so that you can't have a family of your own uh, we have death and the maiden invasion boundaries violated dominance yeah makes sense um clarify the spirit pile 3 we have clockwork pumpkin a wonderful idea in aha moment And let's get one more from this deck. We have Sea Storm in Reverse. Okay. At the bottom of this deck, we have Eclipse Mermaid, a powerful energy shift. Okay. So who is this person? Like I said, it's a family member. It's someone that always violates your boundaries. It's someone that does not like it when you state your boundaries or when you have... Like, I'm, I'm hearing whenever they try to dominate you or control you or try to tell you what to do and how to be in life, like, you always keep having new ideas or you keep breaking out of the box that they keep putting you in. So they keep trapping you in, like, a box or in a category or in a certain concept that they want you to be stuck in but you keep like breaking out of it or you keep you keep finding solutions to like a maze that they a maze like that they create for you i'm hearing interesting and with a sea storm in reverse calm amid chaos in reverse so this is a very chaotic person. They cannot be calm or peaceful. Like they hate peace, I'm hearing. Oh, what, what a person, dude. Like they hate peace. They hate peace. I'm telling you. They hate peace, pile three. So let's get more. So this person could be like, could storm, storm over you or dominate you in conversations or try to like suppress your voice. Like you should not speak above me. I am the one in authority. I am the one who's the leader. I am the boss or like this person could be like that. Okay. They're very entitled. They want their word to be heard above everybody else. Um, we have nobility here. Because I feel like you come from royal blood or you have royalty in you. This person is automatically jealous of that. Yeah, look at this royal energy as well. Right? Knowledge. You are very knowledgeable. You could be studying right now. Um, and this person could like keep blocking you from studies. They could be doing spell work to like destroy your mental capacity to study. Or you keep getting distracted um, by doing other things other than studying that's because this person is invading your boundaries literally that card has come out below that this card so they are invading your boundaries by doing spell work to shift your focus away from studies okay um and i feel like you have high standards and you don't talk to this person or you 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 have like a very uh like this person feels like you are very egotistical. Like like you don't give them the time of day or you don't talk to them or you, you don't entertain them. Um, yeah. Clarify spirit, pile 3. Who is sending who is sending evil eye and spell work towards pile 3? So you could definitely like, like I said, you keep getting back up no matter how much destructive magic this person sends towards you. Um, we get, got a lot of cards here. Supernatural, yeah. You could be a believer in the supernatural, okay. We have thirst. Supernatural thirst. You could become very thirsty sometimes, like you could feel very dehydrated. That's this person, okay. This person has done some spell work to send some spirits onto you, okay. And these spirits are like... What kind of spirits are these? Free will and eternal youth. They are they are taking away your youth. So they are taking away your beauty or they could be attacking your beauty. So you could notice certain like um, certain uh, 
acne or pimples or you could notice certain like maybe weight issues like you could feel like you are gaining weight and then you're struggling to lose weight like you feel like there's this constant chaos that you're going through in terms of your health okay so this person could be attacking your health your physical beauty okay because you think like you are all that like how dare you think you're all that like i am the leader i am the boss so this person could be like a sibling as well like someone who could be like your sibling or yeah with the transmission spreading of conditions influence and impact this person wants you to be like them like they want you to be like them but you don't you don't even give them that that um that effort some of you could be into like look at this guitar so there could be like some of you could be into music or singing um and you are maybe making your name in the music industry or you have just recently started to like get some musical gigs this person could be doing spell work on that so that you so that they attach their energy to you it's like you are meant to be the famous one in the family you are meant to be the successful one you are you are meant to be the one who is like the superstar of the family right but this person is doing spell work so that people attach like them with you or like look at that that's like two look alike so it's like they are doing spell work to make you look like them or whenever you are singing or whenever you are like you disgusting okay i mean i am not a judge of people who am i to judge people but this is genuinely disgusting like why would you do that this looks like a young family member being attacked by an by an elder family member who is jealous of this the youth in you or who is jealous of the the beauty and the you know what i mean right like yeah clarify the spirit file 3 yeah high priestess in reverse i'm telling you this could be an old old family member who is attacking you high priestess in reverse this is definitely dark magic very clearly okay they want you to look older than your age so that they can suck the youth out of you and they can look young okay they siphoning your energy your yeah, 10 of cups so whenever you are happy with your family or whenever you are like jolly or whenever you are smiling this person starts doing magic compulsive this person is compulsive at it as well okay so that you keep crying again like so that you keep having more sorrow and chaos look at this like the guy is comforting the family member like don't worry everything is going to be fine they always want you to go through chaos so they do chaos magic on you okay to like break your heart every time so this is about like heart, breaking your heart so that you start looking old you start you stop believing in people you stop trusting in people okay they can't see you and your happy family like they have to keep breaking it even though they are a part of the family so they can actually join you and be loving and like be like yes i'm there with you my love let's kill it together and they can actually be the support system and you both could have done maybe some some great things together i'm hearing from spirit you both if you both combined forces you could have done so many good things but this person is like so like jealous of your happiness with your family because maybe they feel left out or they feel like they were never given that family or there is some family secrets that they feel they are a part of that makes them very like they that makes makes them want to control and attack you because because they want what you have uh -huh. weird we have nine of pentacles yeah because you are learning to be financially independent self sufficient this person cannot take it okay because maybe in the past you were connected to family and the happiness of the family is something that you depended upon for your happiness but now you are also learning to make your own money you are growing you are maturing you are getting stronger you are listening to your intuition 
and whenever you see this person come around you turn your head or you turn your back you don't respond to them react to them so this person is doing chaos on your family and if they can't attack you or if they are not seeing attacks on you they are attacking people close to you like your family members people that you love and care about they are going to attack them so that you get sad and you feel chaotic and then you are heartbroken again you're sad you get wrinkly and then that those wrinkles are that they should have that that old shit should have that is transferring onto you and they feel happy and they feel like they're killing it in life like yeah lovers in reverse look at the snakes there this is a snake for sure lovers in reverse they hate you that's what i'm hearing page of wands reverse they hate you they hate your guts they hate your passion they hate your ability to study despite all the chaos they sent towards you knight of wands they keep coming to check whether the spell work is working so they keep calling you they keep wanting to see your face they keep wanting to uh, meet you that's because they are checking whether the spell work is working whether you are still sad or they need to add a little bit more um, spice you know to their magic and they sacrifice animals also i'm hearing against you we are moon in reverse i'm telling you and this is all coming out in the open or you know this i'm hearing some of you already know this like that this person is doing this some of you already know this like this person has a craving like they crave to destroy your life they crave they crave and they are obsessive and they are compulsive when it comes to not wanting to see you happy so whenever you are happy they do spell work whenever you have something to celebrate they do spell work whenever you achieve something in your life they do spell work against you this person is obsessed with how you keep getting back up like how strong you are how resilient you are you know who i'm talking about pile okay yeah four of wands this is a family member four of wands for sure okay there's no doubt about it in my mind this person could also like if this is a family member this person could also feel like wanting to teach you or educate you about those things like intimate knowledge at a very young age or so they can corrupt you i'm telling you they they feed off of the innocence coming out of you and you being corrupted like the corruption energy going into you and the youthful the innocent energy coming out that they eat like in spirit i'm seeing that happen like they eat it they're swallowing that innocence from you and they're giving you that corruption like it it's it's really evil okay pile um to this person and i feel like you know it okay you know this person very clearly and that's what they hate the most is you know it okay they hate it give me more on this person who is this person spirit this could be a pisces gemini cancer aries leo sagittarius okay yeah acts as if they know what the t is and spreads them so they act as if they know what's happening in your life because you don't talk to them you avoid them they act as if they know exactly what's going on in your life or they spread misinformation about your life or what you are into or who you are into who you are dating who you are doing what with they they spread misinformation about that they act as if they know you but they don't because you don't let them know you so they do that okay and they check your social media okay they are obsessed with your social media whatever you post they have a fake account to check it okay give me more on this person this person could wear specs or they could have recently gotten specs numbers in their eyes i'm hearing okay glasses um overactive imagination and imagines things that are not true this person is mentally ill this person is mentally deranged that's why they are feeding off of those things okay they are spiritually ill as well like they have spiritual illness as well i'm hearing oh very dark energy pile 3 okay so you definitely need your ancestors by your side and that is the spell i recommend for you because your spirit guides have recommended this spell so check it out in my um description box and uh, below your time stamp okay for pile 3 we have legal issues are becoming an issue time to lawyer up so this person could have done something to to create legal issues where there didn't have to be any legal issues they could have been with you happily 
they could have shared their assets with you happily but they created issues they created it there was no reason you didn't do anything wrong you didn't do anything wrong but they targeted you they targeted you to be the issue they targeted you or they are targeting you to be the issue because they are greedy or they are manipulative or they are spiritually ill and mentally ill and they make up things in their mind they make up things as to how you could maybe lawyer up against them how you could destroy them and how you keep getting back up so they have to do spell work to pull you down again to pull your confidence down don't go out don't be so open don't give the tea to people with your own mouth because then i can't make up stories about you i can't lie about you be isolated be alone that's what i'm hearing from this person crazy man pile 3 like oh they have a specific best friend that they talk to believes in extreme views instead of science and substantial evidence yeah this i'm telling you they are mentally deranged this person and they have extreme views about life and they want everybody to have the same views as them if people do not imitate them or be like them or try to copy them or then they don't they they feel like that that person is their enemy or that person needs to be destroyed or taught a lesson remember we got that um, i don't know where that card went yeah learn from life you could be connected to another pile maybe you are watching two piles okay but um yeah wow who heavy energy pile okay pile 3 this person could be attacking your love life as well because they don't want you to like have strength that you receive from other people that can help you expose this person for who they are um uh, is what's coming through so this is definitely a family member okay so what is the spell that they're doing okay we got some cards here for you first card we have is like me spell okay so yeah like me first of all with that i got that they want you to be like them if people call your name your name should be attached after their name that's what i'm hearing like their name should be on top you should be beneath like you should be the second they should be the first in whatever you are achieving okay they are competing with you this is jealousy okay someone is having a tough time and trying to take you down with them so they are having a tough time but they are making it look like they are winning or they are achieving a lot in life or they are doing better than you or they can teach you a thing or two if you open up to them but you are like you have too much ego so now i'm going to do spell work to keep breaking you down whenever you achieve something and i hear you achieve something because i know people in your family who will tell me shit right so they use certain minions that they have to do this and they are having a tough time literally but they are showing you that they are enjoying or they are they are better than you or they have better earning than you but you are the actual you are meant to take the legacy forward i'm hearing or you are meant to like do something that this person is trying to steal from you they want your destiny okay so they want you to be like them but why would you be like them like you already hate them right that's that's pretty clear because they could have hurt people you love they could have triggered people you love they could have hurt you right reckless magic i told you chaos magic and then we have reckless magic here someone is out of control and doing anything yeah someone is out of control and doing anything to any and everyone they want without any remorse so they they are attacking your love life they are also attacking your likability so people should not like you people should not like your songs people should not like you if you are putting yourself out there okay with some of you this could be into music like i already picked up right or into your studies so you could score bad marks or you uh, do not um, sh- like with the confidence here like you you feel like you lack confidence or people feel like you are not that confident and they put you down or con- put your confidence down because you are just budding into something or you are just beginning something and this person knows that if they push your buttons <laughs> that they, if they push your but they don't want me to say this if they push your buttons that you are going to you know submit 
or you are going to listen to them and their leadership and what you sh should do should be based on what they said you should do okay so they are doing chaos magic on your life to bring more chaos in your career in your studies um, or in your life family life in general okay we have revenge corn okay wow so this person has a plot here this person has a plot here for some of you this person has a plot of getting close to you intimately even though they are a family member i know this sounds weird but i have to give out all the messages i'm seeing they get close to you and then they shoot shoot the video of getting close to you and then they release it so if you're trying to get popular or if you're trying to like get some fame or name that they destroy your career with that and they mask their own face while they do this for others of you they want to hire someone to do this to you so they could make you fall in love or they could ask another person to come in your life fall in love with you so that they can destroy your confidence by making that person shoot whatever it is that you are doing together and then release that on the internet okay and then we have crossing spell someone is doing spells to cause you to lose and change your fortune and bring bad luck i mean i have made that clear to you pile right i have made that clear to you so now it's up to you the spell you are recommended is to get in touch with your ancestor so get in touch with me i can help you i can direct you to the right places to the right people to the right spells that can help you or you can literally purchase the ancestor spell through my patreon by joining my patreon alchemist tier or my superhuman tier and my superhuman tier has access to all my spells all my um healing methods as well as my pick a card readings which are exclusively on patreon or you can tap into my alchemist tier which is only about magic only about spells and alchemy all right so if you're interested in that check that out because that will give you an idea on what to do about this and which is this ancestral spell because your ancestors want to now protect you and destroy this person okay if this person comes for you in that way and they are already coming for you very badly so you need to keep that in mind the other thing that i was picking up is um yeah uh, what they are plotting on you so that is the part 2 of this reading which is on my patreon that will tell you exactly what they are plotting next okay so if you want to know exactly what is the plot or plan against you next then that reading will reveal everything to you so if you're interested check that out file 3 all right yeah so these are the messages i have for you file 3 uh, these numbers could be significant we have 42 39 28 39 39 is twice by the way 32 okay yeah so let me know in the comments if this resonated with you um yeah it's a very very specific message all right so thank you so much file 3 uh, for tuning in my love i see